In this video, I will show you how you can create a virtual joystick in Unity that can be used on any mobile or touchscreen devices, all without using any asset store plugins. Right now, I have a sample scene set up in Unity. I have a spaceship that I grabbed from a free vector website and I built a quick particle effect to simulate stars so that it gives the illusion that our spaceship is gliding through space. If I press play, you'll see that my spaceship and background both animate, but my spaceship doesn't move anywhere on the screen yet. Our objective is to have our spaceship move freely both horizontally and vertically around the screen. So to do that, let's go ahead and create a new C-sharp script. And let's go ahead and label this joystick. Now moving the spaceship is actually rather easy. Let's go ahead and create a new function and let's call it move character. And let's create a vector two parameter and let's call this direction. Then let's use player as a reference for our spaceship and let's use the built-in function called translate to move it around the screen. In the parentheses, let's assign the first parameter to direction times speed, which tells this function where to move and how fast. And then let's multiply that by time.delta time so that the speed of our spaceship moves smoothly between frames. Now that we have our function to move our spaceship, let's go ahead and create a public transform at the top of our screen so that our script knows what to move. Let's also create a public float for speed and let's just set it to 5. Feel free to adjust this value to speed up or slow down the movement of your object. And then let's press save and go back into Unity. Let's go ahead and drag our joystick script onto our camera. Notice under our script we have a field called player. Let's go ahead and drag our spaceship object into that field so that our script knows we want our spaceship to be the object that we want to move. Now if we were to press play, nothing would happen yet, and that's because we haven't declared our move character function anywhere in our script. So let's go back into our script and change that. Now if you were using a controller joystick or the keyboard, you could simply write move character and in parentheses you would create a new vector too, and you would set the X parameter to equal input dot get axis horizontal and the Y parameter to equal input dot get axis vertical. Our input dot get axis will output an X and Y value between negative one and positive one. A value of zero indicates that the joystick is not being touched and therefore our spaceship won't move at all. So if we save this script and go back into Unity and press play, we can now move our spaceship using our hour keys on our keyboard, or if you have a plugged in controller, you can use that also. The problem is this method won't work on a mobile or touchscreen device where a controller is not available. So let's talk about how we can simulate the movements of a joystick. When we first touch our screen, we want that to act as the center of our joystick or point A. Then when we drag our finger to point to where we like our spaceship to travel, this is point B and is constantly being updated as our finger moves. So then we simply calculate our offset by subtracting point A from point B and then this gives us our direction. So then back in our script, let's go ahead and erase our declared function. At the top, Let's go ahead and create a new boolean to keep track of when our finger is being pressed down on the screen. Let's just label this touch start and let's set the default value to false. Then let's create two new vector twos and let's label them point A and point B. In our update function, let's create an if statement to check to see if you press down on the screen either with your finger or the left mouse trigger. We do this with the input.getMouseButtonDown function. 
Then if this is true, let's plot our point A to the mouse's position using input.mouseposition. Unity has two ways of calculating mouse position. The first is in screen view, which is the default value. It gives you an X and Y coordinate relative to the screen width and screen height. In this case, we want the mouse position to be a coordinate in our world view, which is the same view that our spaceship is in. So to do that, we use the built-in converter, screen to world point. Then we create a new vector 3, setting parameter 1 to our mouse's x position, parameter 2 to our mouse's y position, and for our third parameter, let's go ahead and set this to our camera's z position. I notice not including the same value as our camera's z position gives us undesired results, so make sure you put that in. Then, let's create an, another if statement to check if our mouse is being pressed down. If so, let's set our touch start equal to true. Then, let's update our point B the same way we set up our point A. And if a touch or mouse is not being pressed down, let's go ahead and set our touch start equal to false. As a general rule, you should have all movement and physics calculated in the fixed update function instead of the update function. So let's go ahead and add fixed update to our script. Then let's check to see if a touch is present. If it is, let's calculate the offset of our points by subtracting point A from point B. Now like a physical joystick, we want to clamp our offset to be in a scale of negative one to positive one. So let's create a vector two for direction and let's use clamp magnitude to clamp our offset to a radius of one. Then the last thing we want to do is declare our move character function. Since our camera and GUI view use opposite coordinates, we need to multiply our direction by negative one to reverse our values so that they are pointing in the correct direction. And finally, if we go ahead and press save and go back into Unity, and if we press play, we should be able to click anywhere on the screen and drag our mouse to move our spaceship. In some cases, you might find it useful to visually see your joystick on the screen. So let's go back into our script and create two new public transforms. One for a inner circle and one for a outer circle. I went ahead and prepared a visual joystick asset that you can download in the link below. Let's go ahead and drag these assets onto our scene. The position of these objects doesn't really matter since it will change based on your touch input. Then let's go ahead and drag these objects into our scripts inspector fields. Now that those are linked properly, we can go back into our script and alter the position of these objects to simulate a visual joystick. The first thing we want to do is anchor the position of our circles so that they are equal to our point A when a touch is present. Be sure to multiply by negative one to reverse our values. Next, we want our inner circle to stay within our outer circle. So let's go ahead and change the position to equal point A plus our direction. And lastly, we only want to show these circles when a touch is active. So let's enable the sprite renderer for when a touch is started. And then let's also disable the sprite renderer for when a touch ends. Now, if you go back into Unity, you should see a visual representation of your joystick's movement. You now have a virtual joystick that works both with a mouse and on touch screens. 
If you'd like to copy and paste the source code used in this video, please refer to the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.